Hey, what's going on guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Hut Warriors. Now, today we have a special episode because, well, our lone Timu Solani has officially run out. But we have an automatic replacement coming in. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet, but we are going to be opening our Gift of Giving Rewards. So I'm trying to see. Now, obviously, we have an open spot here on the roster right now with Solani gone and whoever we get is obviously going to be better. We could get the Blake Wheeler. But we already have Blake Wheeler. Who do I want to add is going to be the real question. I'm looking at defense, and I might take a defenseman. The one place I know we're good is probably our goalie. That, that's probably it with Johnny Bauer. We need a, we need some extra firepower. Every other player is going to have these cards. Every other player is getting legends and whatnot by uh, doing stuff. We're not building our team like that. We're not doing it like that. We're doing it all on our own with packs. And sure enough, we get these packs. So we're going to open them up, and we're going to take what we get. So we're going to go ahead and choose our two new players. Round number one is all of our uh, international player of the game cards. Um, it's a shame there's not a right-handed uh, forward here. I would take a right-handed forward, but there's not. La Gremlin, Lacanic, and Landeskog are all lefties. So that might leave us to taking Ryan Suter, which I would not mind at all to help out on the back end, and we, we would lose Oscar Clefbaum, but Suter would become our number one left defenseman. I think that makes the most sense for us to do. So Ryan Suter gonna come in as pick number one. Pick number two, we are looking for a right-handed shot. You know who's a right-handed shot? Blake Wheeler. Now the problem is we already have a Blake Wheeler on the team. Do I want to replace him? I mean, looking at the card, he's gonna be a beast, you know? We picked up our left defenseman, so Fowler's out. We could get another number one center with Matthew Shane. I have Evander Kane on my main team. Shea Weber, I'd like as well. I think that would be a great addition. But uh, our right D is looking pretty good with Tim Heed, the legend down there. We have Drew Doughty. We have our top two. I'm still looking for a right defenseman, but I don't think we should take both defensemen on this. I think we need to take a forward. And I think the smartest choice here would be to take Blake Wheeler. We're going to put Blake Wheeler on the first line. He's going to play with Anze Kopitar, and that is going to be a big first line. So there you go. Those are our two major additions. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and send everything to the collection because I'm not going to need any of it. It doesn't matter to me. But we'll go ahead and send it to the collection, and we're going to play a game today with our brand new players, and it's exciting. I, I love the idea of having these new guys on the team. So Blake Wheeler's gone. Now, who do we put in his spot? All right, now I'm looking for a replacement for the base Blake Wheeler. Obviously, Wheeler's going on the first line. So I need to find somebody to put in his spot. Now, I move Kessel up to the third line. We have Couturier, we have Barkov, Raquel. And I like the idea of having a right-handed shot. They'll be playing with McDavid and Zuccarello. Raquel might be our best option. He's got decent speed. He's a big body. Barkov, I mean, he's just he's just really slow. It's my only negative against him. He's a really slow body. Uh, Couturier is not a bad option either. He's just as big as, uh, as uh, Barkov here. Better defensive awareness. He'll be playing down there. Do you know what? I'm going to go Sean Couturier. Oh, we need a right-handed shot on every line. We won't worry about that right now. We're going to go with that as our third line. He's going to be playing on the first line D pair with Drew Doughty. So, I like it. I think this is going to be a great setup here. Giordano with Risto line in. Might help out Risto. And Tim, he was char... This line has been so good for us that I don't want to I don't want to do anything here. So, we'll just keep it the way it is. Guys, let's go ahead and get into a game. See how we do. Pick up the victory, hopefully. And if we pick up the victory, we're one step closer to moving up another division. Where are we right now? Yeah, so we need three points here today. Maybe we get them both done. Here we go. Harvino, 89. Good luck, buddy. He's got Lafleur, Gretzky. He is playing, too. I didn't think he was going to play at first, so that's good. Hopefully we can get the W here. That's a horrible pass. Good steal by Kopitar down to Wheeler. Wheeler going to come out in front. Throw it on goal. Oh, he just missed. That shot is hard and heavy. See if we can get it to him again. Patty Kane's wide open. He'll take that one. He makes it one nothing. As uh, this guy has not played much defense, I'd like to take a look at his team. See who he's got. We are up one zip here uh, early in the first. So I mean, he has Doug Gilmore. Like he, he has Salming on defense. He has a decent team. This is not a uh, it's not a starter squad whatsoever. So Jimmy Ben comes in and he he whipped on it. Petrangelo probably uh, got a stick on that, but. This guy's team isn't as bad as uh, I originally had thought of, so this could be a good one. That's going to do it for the period. We had one last chance there. Didn't get anything done. We are up one nothing. Not a lot happening in that period. I will say we've uh, we've had the advantage for sure. 
Guy doesn't have a bad team though, so it could be interesting heading into the second. You can see here, 10 to 2, tripling his time on attack. We're playing well. We just gotta keep it going. Oh my goodness. Guy Lafleur gonna make it 1 1. Now he has that interesting looking Gretzky. That's a nice looking card. I will give him credit on that. Uh, Kuznetsov gets an assist on that one as well, and we're all tied up. Oh my god, are you joking? Mitch Marner gonna get the goal. 2 1 game. As uh, he's put two. I'll say the first one was a pretty decent chance. This one should not have been a goal. A really weak rebound by Bauer. And uh, Marner bats it out of midair to give them the lead. Oh my goodness. William Nylander makes it 3 to 1. I'm going to call a timeout here. I'm going to slow things down. Things are not going well for me. Now, you can see the stats. Let's see. Where are we at? Uh, yeah, he's definitely starting to come back in shots, but time and attack, we're still dominating here. I don't know what to do. I gotta try and turn this around pretty quickly. Oh my god, this guy is killing me here. 4-1 game. Nazem Kadri with the goal. Another nice play by him. He does have the Eric Bronstrom out there too. Interesting. He has a very interesting team. Alright guys, we are heading into the third period down by three. Now, we've still outplayed this guy by quite a bit, but he's gotten some nice bounces. He's got a couple nice goals. I'm not going to give the guy uh, any flack here. He's doing well. We've just got to turn it around. I don't know what's been happening. See, we're doubling his time on attack, doubling his shots. Just got to keep uh, keep on the pressure, and uh, we should be able to get something going. Oh, my God. Kessel. Like, come on. All right, Zuccarello. Come on. And freaking Freddie Henderson makes the save there. We are getting our chances, don't get me wrong. I will not say that uh, we haven't had our opportunities to get on the board here. Freddie Anderson's played big for him, and uh, he's gotten some he's gotten some weak goals on uh, Johnny Bauer. If we can't get something started quick here, we need three in the next 15. It, it's going to be tough. There you go, Mark Giordano. What a shot. Makes it 4-2. Uh, we got on the board. That's what's important here. We just got to keep it going now. We gotta turn this momentum around. He's had uh, a couple power play chances here. We need one of our own. If we can get a couple more on the board, we tie it up. Anything can happen. Kane to Blake Wheeler in his debut makes it four to three. We have six to fifty-five to go. We need one more to tie it up. Let's make it happen. I will say, the team is feeling very slow. He's going to call his timeout here. I will say that, though. The team is feeling extremely slow. i got to make a change. I'm going to make something happen. But uh, we need one more, and we can tie it up. It's even. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. He can start some danger here. And Gretzky's going to come in and snipe one home. That could be the dagger right there. Makes it 5-3. to three. That's rough. Patty Kane! Absolutely love it. 5-4 game, 4.42 to go. Come on, guys. We got this. Oh, my God. Kuznetsov. Oh, that might be our best chance to tie it, and Anderson absolutely robs him. All right, go, 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 come on. Nine seconds, we're so tired out there. Kopitar, please. It's blocked, no. Kuznetsov, throw it on goal, no. As we're going to take our very first ever regulation loss here in Hut Warriors. No reward for that game. That's a frustrating one as we absolutely dominated it. Five goals and 15 shots for him. More than double his time on attack as well. That's a frustrating game, guys. We couldn't get it done. The first thing, like I said earlier, I feel like the team is very, very slow out there. So we gotta, we got to change that up. We've got to change something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we've got to do something because I, uh, I did not like that at all. I didn't really mess with the team too much. We're going to go ahead, get into another game here, try and pick up the W. We need at least one point to secure ourselves moving into the next division. I'm not concerned. We're going to get it. Let's move on. All right, guys, we got back-to-back -back Leafs fans. We're going against Matthews Boys. He's got Lucic. He's got... Who's that on his first line? William Carlson. Interesting choice. 
You know, in the last game, I said we felt really slow. I'm hoping that we can turn that around in this one. I'm hoping it was just like a bad game, but we will see. Another bad start here. Vladimir Tarasenko makes it 1-0. Oh my god, it's blocked. There you go, Kuznetsov. Get on the board. For the love of God, give us a goal. We tie it up at one here early in the first. I am uh, I am struggling here. I don't know what's going on. I got to turn this around. I love Zuccarello so much. <laughs> if only he could have done that last game. But he does get on the board here. Makes it 2-1. That's a great play for us. That I love to make every time I'm shorthanded. And it works out. There you go, Giordano. Two goals in two games for the big man on the third line D pair. <laughs> He's finally doing something, guys. We had him for how long? He didn't do anything on the first line D pair. Move him down and he scores goals. 3-1. Tim Heed, the legend, the god himself. Tim Heed. Oh my god, look at Tim Heed. <laughs> Tim Heed, are you joking? Tim Heed with some absolute massive dangles. 1.1 seconds left. Sets up Patrick Kane and gives us another goal. Look at him move. Tim Heed. I absolutely love it. The guy's a legend. Matt Molson's walking all over his goalie. What a goal. See, this is more like how the game should have been last time. I don't know what happened, and I'm so sorry for, for that. Like, I, I don't know how we lost that game. We're turning it around here. We're gonna try and score four more, make it a special pack, and move on. Blake Wheeler. Love it. All right, that's five. I think we're gonna get this one. We should run away with it. Let's try and get eight. There you go, Patty Kane. You know what? I think that, yeah, that's a hat trick for Patrick Kane. Not only that, that is goal number eight. So that is two packs for us in the uh, in the end of this game. Patrick Kane going to get us a gold rare player pack from the uh, gold rerolls. And because we have eight goals in this game, our regular gold pack upgrades to a special pack. So we're going to fast forward from here. We're not going to show the rest of this game. Well, wait, wait. I tried. We'll go ahead and we'll finish off this game and get our packs. All right, guys, that's the game. Awesome, great. Patrick Kane doing Patrick Kane things. Bringing players to the team. Let's go get our packs. I'm happy. That was a good game. I'm happy with that. There was a lot of really good stuff out, including the Evo 2 players. I would love to add one of those Evo 2 players to the team. The one thing I do not want to pull right now is the 92 Blake Wheeler. For obvious reasons. <laughs> that would be awful. That would be the worst thing that's ever happened. Because, obviously, we just got the Christmas edition. Uh, okay, why did they kick me out of there? I just want to get my rewards. Come on. Yep. Okay. So what are we getting? A thousand coins. Cool. Thank you very much. And a 75 overall loan Darren McCarty. Well, I won't be using that. I love Darren McCarty. I absolutely do. But 75 overall one won't make the team too. So we're going around for a couple games. Don't need it. Now, what one do we want to open for the Patrick Kane hat trick? We'll do this one right here. Patrick Kane said, bring this player to the team. I will make it happen. He gets the hat trick and he says to bring in Shea Theodore. I don't, I don't think we're going to do that, though, Patty. I tried, but I don't think that's going to happen. However, what I will say will happen is we're going to open up one of these 50k Premium Evolution 2 choice packs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not a choice pack. Get it right, Thrash. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get something big in this. Add maybe some speed to the team, <laughs> please. Need some speed. We got a collectible. We got TJ Oshi. Interesting. All right. He's got Speedster and Call the Shot. He's definitely going to come onto the team. 84 overall. I like it. All right. Anything else in here? Don't want to get greedy, but Landis Gog and OEL, too. Holy crap. Okay. We got ourselves a pack. OEL. Oshi. Welcome to the team. Guys, with the additions of Oliver Ekman Larson and TJ Oshi, so Daniel Chara is going to say goodbye. Now, it's about time we get rid of Chara. He's, uh,. Not scoring many goals for us, for one, but two, he just hasn't done a lot. Now, here's the thing. Getting rid of Chara means we get rid of Speedster. It worked out really well in our favor to add in TJ Oshi. Kachure is gone. He's a left-handed shot. We don't need. He has Speedster. He has called the shot. 
this is a player that we definitely want to add to the team. And we want to add him so much. I think we're going to move him... Hmm, where do we want to... What I think I'm going to do is actually move Sillinger down to the third line. I'll move Koyovu up, and I'll have Oshi play on the... Uh, I have Oshi playing on the second line. I like that idea. I like Oshi's card this year. Having the upgrade on him is going to be great. I think I think we're going to do that. All right, so that's how that's going to look. It's going to be Oshi, Koivu, Kuznetsov on the uh, second line, then Ben, Sillinger, and Tereseko on the third line. These two additions add a ton of speed to the team. What are the odds? Just what I was talking about. Oshi, 92 and 92 over Kachure, who was like 87, 86. Then OEL. Who's what, 87, 88? 89 and 90, oh dear god. And I'm pretty sure Chara was like 85, 84. So, definitely gonna help out with the speed. Guys, that is gonna do it for the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Another big addition to the team, as well as our uh, Christmas rewards. They're definitely gonna help out. Blake Wheeler, how have you done so far? You've played two games and you have three goals. I love it. Anyways, guys, next episode should be either sometime this weekend or early next week, so be on the lookout. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.